all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did these nails. I posted them on my Instagram when I did them and it's been almost a week since I put them on. Tomorrow it'll be a week and they're still holding on strong. Um, no lifting, nothing like that. So this is amazing. I did my own poly gel nails, hybrid gel nails at home. The one thing I will say is I made mine pointy and with gel nails after a while they get dull so I'm probably going to file them to make them a little bit sharper. I'm going to sharpen my claws here today but they're amazing and I'm going to show you guys how I did them. But before we get into that don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Alright let's jump over to that. Okay so first a little unboxing of what I got. I ordered the... Starry Night Whispers Galaxy color set and also a little nail lamp that's so cute and so tiny. So I'm going to open this first. Real quick while I'm editing, I just wanted to add in here that I reached out to the company and I got a discount code for you guys. So if you want to order this kit or if you want to order anything to do your own nails from McCart, I'm going to have a link down below to their website and this is the code that you can use for 15% off so go check it out if you want to do your own nails at home I just got some new stuff as well to change to like black my usual since this was kind of like a special thing so I'm gonna be changing my nails soon also it's been a month since I've done these and they're still gorgeous just update instructions the uh, cord for it and then this part it's so cute they call it a little, little mouse because like it looks like a, a little mouse and you click it it feels like a mouse but if you flip it over it's a stand so you can sit there you put your hands and you click it on and it goes I think that's so cute I have to plug it in now and I'm gonna get a little battery pack for that in a second and the big kit okay I'm so excited Of course the file, the brush, I'm so excited about this to have like a real nail like tool. Like, oh my goodness. Um, we have a, oh this is hard to get out of here, a top coat and a base coat and all of our colors. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these out. And below this, the dual forms. And what are these? Cards, instructions, something like that. Yeah, instructions. I'll go over those in a minute. Okay. Let's open the dual forms. flimsier than I expected. I thought they were like a hard plastic and they're not. Interesting. Very interesting. It looks like some of them have little tabs on the side and some of them don't. So I forgot which one that came from. Oh well. Okay. And then I also have a little like nail kit buffer file thing from my nail salon that I used to go to and just a nail kit to prep my nails. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, and I also have alcohol that I'm gonna be using for the slip and some sparkles that I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna try to use. Okay. If I don't pay him back, he's gonna kill my dog. Okay, that's very intense. Please let me know. Since my mom died, that dog's my only family. I am so sorry, I shouldn't have engaged. Got way too real. I'm gonna lose everything. Yep, putting on my helmet now. Ready? Go. I got a bruise. I won't do it. We no, are also watching Brooklyn Nine Nine while I do this. So. Everything I'm doing today, I learned from a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link it down below. If you want to learn how to do your own nails at home, seriously 
watch this channel. This woman is an amazing teacher. First, I prepped my nails by cleaning them, pushing back the cuticles, cutting, filing, and buffing up the nails to help the fake nails stay on better. Next, I chose which dual forms I was going to use. I measured them to each nail, making sure that they covered my nail completely, all the way to the cuticle and all the way down on both sides. So I tried a couple different methods of adding the sparkles on. And I'm still not sure which way I like, and honestly, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do it, but this is what I tried. The first thing I tried was adding a base coat to the dual form and putting the sparkles in that and then curing it and putting the poly gel over it. I felt like the sparkles kind of got lost in the poly gel even though I cured the dual form with the base coat and the sparkles on it, they still moved around. I know they wouldn't move around if I did it with top coat but I was also afraid that I wouldn't be able to get it off the dual form if I did it with top coat, so I just tried the base coat. The second way I tried was after putting the nail on my finger, I put a layer of top coat and the sparkles cured it and then put a second layer of top coat. This is the way I did most of them. This let the sparkles stay on top, but it also made the final product a little bumpy where the sparkles sit. So I took a large bead of each color and put them in a little plastic cup so that I could swirl the colors together because this is the galaxy kit and I wanted my nails to look like a galaxy. Obviously, you'd skip this step if you were just doing one color or a couple of colors and you didn't want them swirled together. And shaping was a little bit hard in the beginning, but it got easier each nail that I did. And the first nail definitely took quite a bit longer than the rest as I was learning how to work with the product. In general, doing my nails this time took a lot longer than it probably will in the future, just because this was my first time. So I did this for each nail after I finally got it close to the shape I wanted, I put it on my nail and made sure that it wasn't seeping out around the dual form and cured it under the light. And taking the dual forms off was actually a lot easier than I expected. I mentioned that the plastic was a lot softer and flimsier and that aids in taking it off. It's very easy just to pop it off. Okay, I have one hand done. It does not look pretty because I've not cleaned it up yet. Uh, so I'm gonna put the other hand on and then file it down and clean it up. This is a little bit harder than I thought, but you can tell that like each nail I do, it gets a little bit better. So hopefully the next hand will be quicker. Definitely each nail I do, it gets quicker. Okay, they're all filed down, they're all pointy and sharp, and I just need to file like around the cuticles. I definitely noticed that I already messed up on this pointer finger, and I think I'm gonna have to redo it, because uh, it's not fully connected to this nail right here, so it's probably gonna pop off pretty quickly, but um, other than that, I think these are doing fine. And because I did it at home, I can just fix this one up real quick and easy. I mean, for doing it for my first time, I think they're turning out all right. It's been like three and a half, four hours, and they're done! They're, hold, hold on. I did my own nails! Oh my god, look at how cute they are! I can't even, and they match my hair. Ah! <laughs> we'll see how long they last. Obviously, like, I'm not very good at, um, sculpting yet or anything like that, but for a very first time trying, 
I am so impressed. And it was a little bit difficult and it took me a while to figure it out, but I love them. And I love that I can do this at home and I don't have to pay to go get them done somewhere because that costs a lot of money. I mean, it would take just as long going into a salon. Well, it might take like an hour less, honestly. But when I have gone in to get my nails done, it usually takes a long time, so. Mm. They're just... What do you think of them? I like them. I think they're cute. Mm -hmm. You think they're cute? Mm -hmm. You like them? Mm -hmm. So much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you feel more confident if you want to try nails at home yourself i'm going to leave the brand that i bought this from linked down below i these just blew my mind this was the very first time i ever tried it and it actually worked and i am going to save so much money doing my nails at home because y'all know i like to have my nails done now that i'm not working in a kitchen every day so i nails yes and leave me a comment down below let me know if you try these nails if you order from this company let me know how it goes i i highly encourage trying it it worked so well all right don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and i will see you guys next time bye y'all